Special shout out to my members and patrons, Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Shalin Kili, Yushika Bay, Madlow, The Hell Razor, Harrington, I Am Beast, Jelly Beams, Kaleem Humi, Jim Bones, Balalco, and Kilabani264 for your amazing support. Members and patrons get shout outs in all my videos, gain access to a private Discord channel, and access to my 7A Sarai server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, War of the Walkers mod. So, we got ready for our last time, did a ton of quests. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the NPC with the bow and the one with the hunting rifle. At least now that we know we have those, we have to save some cash. Always, always, always have at least 10k on us. Because these guys go for anywhere between 1.5 and 2.5, sometimes even 3. I should probably also see if I can't find like the wasteland or something like that. There should be a way to see where everything is. Um... I should actually just stop those quests over there. Jennifer's treasure map I want to go for, but other than that... Wait, is that where the treasure map went? All the way up there. Was it, That has to be an old one, because I think I read the... Yeah, this low-tier weapons. I still have to go all the way up there for that one. But yeah, we need to get the wasteland, guys, because there's a few NPCs over there that I'd like to hire. So if I can at least go over here, go over here, and just cancel these. I don't want to do those right now. And then we need to find... Um, the big castle, all that stuff as well. This city over here looks kind of small. I don't know if it's any bigger than that. It's the road. I thought it might be the wasteland. Um, the wasteland, I can't remember. Last time I think it was not radiated. And I think this time again it's not radiated. But I am not sure about that. So. That popped into my inventory. Craft motor, I was about to say. I still, for a moment there, showed I still have to make it. Motorcycle, there you go. In one minute, we'll have the motorcycle out. And then I went and made this double thick because... Ta-da! Okay, so let's just see. We have the survivalist. This is food, basically. Food. Then we have soldier. Covert. Tradesman. And the last one is what? Technician. Mm, yeah, technician we can put it at the end. So for now, we can have all four next to each other. I just want to see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. Ooh, it's going to be a little offset, but that's fine. Because we're going to have five vending machines. It's actually going to bother me, that fact that there's now two separate. I wonder if I shouldn't let, uh, just leave a space between them or something. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. We'll just leave the stuff as is. I need to stop being so overly um, A-N-A-L about stuff. OCD about stuff. Okay, so let's see. Um, ooh, farm supplies and stuff. Oh, yeah, you can buy stuff from this as well. Obviously, you can buy stuff, but I mean, like, you can buy the schematics and stuff. Uh, a dinner master, a, cl a class exclusive quest. I'm guessing you have to either make food or go get food. Uh, so this is just the vending machine over here. You can actually see over here the rods and reading materials. From my first aid bandage, so if I take this challenge, I'm going to be able to do it. And then farm supplies, this is a treasure map. I should probably be constantly doing this because that, this stuff gives you XP and rewards. Okay, M6, uh, M60 is better than what we have at the moment. Ooh. Ooh, 12,000. Okay, so that's a little bit expensive. I'll rather make my own. We actually have stuff for, uh, for ourselves. Treasure maps. Silver armored. Let me just grab that and see what that is again. And then this one over here is building supplies, wood frames... I have to be careful not to make too many wood frames though, because everything's going to get set alight if I'm not careful. Okay, clay we can buy. Oh wow, that's cheap. The stone, however, is going to be way more expensive. But that just now. Now we can make more uh, cobble, and the more cobble we can make, the more cobblestone bricks we can make. I need to go and uh, fill this whole place up. Now we have two motorcycles, so I think I should actually sell one. We can make this our sell box. Let's put everything in here that we want to sell. This thing is going to sell for 2.4. Oh, do we have any vehicle mods yet? This is brushless motor. That's for a chainsaw. Doesn't look like we have any motor vehicles. Okay, so as you guys know, we have this crappy drone and we have a crappy shotgun. We should be able to make a better drone and the mod pieces, but we need the workbenches for them. So first things first, workbenches. Workstation, I mean. Okay, so we are going to need the builder one. Uh, recycler station, we're also going to need tool workbench. What do we need for this one? I only have one anvil, that's fine. We need forged steel. Can we make forged steel yet or not? 
I think we're going to need an anvil, which is over here, I think. I think we might actually be able to just go and buy uh, whatever we want. Let's just see. If I can buy for you, yeah, look at that. Forge steel. It's a little bit expensive, but at least we can do the other uh, stuff. So we need the builder station. We need the blueprint station to make bundles that we don't know yet. But first things first, full station. And then we're going to need more steel for other stuff as well. So I should actually see if I can't buy the crystal. Oh, it's probably going to be better to make it. Okay, because you need to make, uh, for the drone, you need the work tool workstation. For the gun, I'm going to make a shotgun. We have the recipe, so we just need the workbench now. We can make the auto shotgun. We can make the pump shotgun. Although the level should be higher because I put points into that one skill. Uh, skill. Last episode, I put points into crafting shotguns. Oh, okay. That's a level 5 for pipe shotguns. Quality is 3 for double barrel. And yeah, it needs to be even higher. Level 2 for pump shotgun. Damn, that's expensive. Okay, so I need to get a few skill points now. We are level 150, so we should be able to get to level 8. That means level 3 auto shotgun. And a level 5 pump shotgun. That's good. So I need to level up. <laughs> okay, that is actually, that's a pretty nasty trick to play. You think you have set. Technically, I don't want to wait to, uh, until Horde Night, but... If I go and read these now, I might just level up. And if I go do these quests, I'm going to level up even further. Hello, my lady. What are you doing up here with me? Okay, so technically we should... Now that we have this double and reinforced, is that a wolf pack? Let's go get him, lady. Even I'm gonna take damage if I fall that high. Are you dumb? Are you doffed? There's way more. Mountain lion and a few more wolves. Come on. There you go. Okay, so wild animal pack. Did not know this was a thing in the game. I actually like this. I'm a fan of the wandering packs of animals. It's been a while since I've actually seen them though. Ooh, hello. I'm hoping she kills them fast so they don't run away. Okay, there's more. I think there were more. They are lucky. I don't see them at all, so I'm not going to go for them right now. Okay, so while we wait for stuff to craft, we should actually go... At what level can I make the drone? Crappy quality. Um. Oh, I'm going to have to put points into the drone as well, I think. Although, I don't see an option for... Oh, uh, robotic and junk uh, weapons. So I think this is a drone as well. Baton. Robotic sledge. Stun baton. I don't, I don't know if this is this. Under what does the um, drone fall? Because I need to be able to go and invest in that to make sure the drone is as great a quality as it can be. Stream of lock. So basically, if you put a screamer block down, you can call in zombies and more and more and more. The more you call in, the more you can kill, the more XP you can gain. How much does it cost to make a screamer block? Screamer block. It's still locked. You need to be level 175. We are level... Is 164. I'm so close to doing some of this stuff, but I need just a little bit more. I remember I was like, huh, what did I, I just heard something down below. Okay, so yeah, we're waiting for these to finish and we can start using them. Uh, this stuff we can actually sell to the trader and hopefully by that way level up. Okay, uh, craft turkey dinner. I'm gonna make a turkey dinner. Turkey dinner, what do I need, what do I need? Tier 4 and 5, oh, that sucks. Or turkey dinner recipe. That is messed up. Tier 4 and 5 is actually a little bit further away from me. That's out of my reach right now. Uh, tier 3. Tier 3. Where's Tier 4 and 5? Probably at the advanced over here. Yep, over here. We need to be level 175 once again. <laughs> Everything's so far in my reach. Okay, so we can't do that one yet. This is low tier weapons. Oh, there's already one on the map of that, so we can't do another one. Farm supplies. First aid bandages. Craft 25 first aid bandages. First aid bandages. How many can I make? At least seven. We need more aloe cream. Oh, 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 oh. Um, 
Hello cream. We can actually make a ton more. And you know, as soon as this is done, I'm actually thinking of making another workbench that can help us. If there's multiple workbenches, it's easier to actually make uh, get stuff done over here. Workbench. Back at the back. And then this is almost done. Uh, I'm actually going to stop that so that workbench can help out. Okay, so we may have to make first aid bandages. And then this one is craft 25 wooden frames. And then place them, then upgrade them. That one's going to be a tough one because it's wood. If I have some cobble, I can actually go from wood to cobble. Then it doesn't matter that much. I think let's do that. Uh, I need to save some cobble. Yeah. I'm not going to make all the cobble into uh, into uh, blocks. Because I want to be able to uh, upgrade the wooden ones that I place. But I need to make 25 of them. Oh no. Too much. Okay, make 25 of them and then place them. And then what's next? Silver armored. Equip a silver armor set. Does that mean I'm going to have to make silver armor? Or sometimes there's actually a quest. Silver armor quest. Okay, I don't have any of that stuff right now. I sold all my silver. Silver boots and other under covert armor anyway, so I can't go for that right now. For some of these quests I'm reading now, but it's going to be a long time before I can actually do them. Building supplies and then more wood frames, but I think... Oh, 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 nice, nice, nice. You can read two quests together, guys. I just read two craft 25 blocks, so I just have to craft 25, not 50. It's going to count. So... <laughs> I'm actually lucky that I got that just now. Load, load to your weapons. It says I can't have two of these on the map. The other one I just had multiple of as well. So, um... There's covert supplies over there. Building supplies over there. Building supplies over there. I wonder if I shouldn't first go up. Get this one. Then go all the way up through all of this nothingness to get this one. We might actually see some more stuff on the map. And then when I'm, when I'm here, I can actually go and cancel these. Because they're going to be a lot closer. And I'm, I'm going to know which ones are which. Basically, I can do this stuff when we get back, but this one I want to first place. We can actually put the... No. This is craft. This one does... I can put this in the workbench. This one's the one that you have to craft on you and then place. Unfortunately, it doesn't work any other way. Okay, can I sell meat? How much is it going to sell for? Three... Uh, it's going to be better to sell it cooked, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to sell most of the food. I must make sure that we have full-on food first before I sell them. And I just want to wait for this workbench to be done so I can actually go and use it. See, this one didn't start crafting just now because I had... Ah, oh, I should actually take this out. There's no point for this right now because this is not part of the quest that we have to craft. All this workstation. Uh, builders, builders, builders. Uh, building supplies over here, so I'll just do that. Oh, but I need to move it. Uh, the wall's supposed to be too thick. I need to remember that when I'm placing stuff right now. The, uh, the wall's only one thick at the moment. Over there, it's too thick. But over here, it's only one thick. When I place stuff, I have to place it away from the wall to make sure it actually places where it needs to be. So this stuff we can sell, and then I need to go fetch the other stuff. The workbench over here can go on top of this one. And then this one can actually go and craft my... Hello. Nice. See, if you don't have to finish it on you, if it doesn't say craft it, and it just says gather, you can do it that, this way around. Um... Noise. I wonder. Almost hit the drone just now. Almost. I knew there was another one. I knew, I knew, I knew. So it's a good thing she didn't die just now. Okay, unfortunately I don't have any gas on me, do I? No, I don't. I need vehicle mods. I need drones. I need... If I, if I can make a better quality drone and put some mods on there. I think this one of mine can have one mod on already. But I don't know if I want to go for stamina. Or if I want to go for the storage perk. Okay, let's just drop all that. We can make more cobble, I think, because we have some stone, don't we? Is that all the stone we have? So we can't really. Okay, I want to see how many blocks we can make right now. This one's going to be another eight minutes. Uh, I see. These still need to finish. What I'm going to do then is make cobble shapes, because we need to start making a whole base. That's 20 minutes. We're only going to go for about 400. No, let's go for 350 in this one. And then we're going to go for... The rest on me. I'm going to make only 150. Because like I said, the rest of the cobble, we're going to have to upgrade these shapes that we just had. Um, technically, I could do it now. I can just go and place these wooden frames down. 
And remember, the thing is, we have to go and upgrade these. Where's my upgrade tool? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I was about to say, you have to make these cobble. So I think I should probably make them cobble as soon as possible. Do I have a nail gun? Doesn't seem like it. That is a shame. Okay, I should have some more cobble left now on me, so I'm gonna, I'll be able to do this. I need wood as well. I'm going to go straight for the cobble uh, from the start, so I don't have to worry about wasting right now. Oh, you need that before you can make that into cobble. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to make it, because I need to place these down, and it needs to count. You have to put 20 of them down, or 25 of them down, and then repair them. And if there's just one block that is wood on your base, like this right now, it can burn your base down. So the sooner we can make this cobble, the better. We need to focus on making this cobble. There you go, only 25. I think I completed just now, but it doesn't it didn't ding just now. Quests, uh, did I finish it? That's buried supplies. Wait, what? Where is this thing now? Trauma, first aid construction, upgrade 20. I upgraded 25. I placed 25 just now and I upgraded them, so why is it not taking? 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There you go. See, now I completed both those quests in one go. Uh, first aid, building supplies, frame. Yeah, I just finished two quests in the one go. So that is awesome. But now I have to go to crafting over here. Uh, shotguns, I want to get this as high as possible. I need to be level 175 for this one. So that one I can't unlock yet. But now I can make a level 4 auto shotgun. So I need to actually aim for that. What I'm also going to do is over here, we need to have this one finish. So we're going to leave one slot for it to finish. And then behind that, we have to have this stuff crafting as well. So, steel spear can go over here. And then the steel club can be in this one. So, that's going to take one slot. Uh, that's going to take one slot. And then, boom. So, just make the steel club behind that. Steel club, steel spear. So, this one's going to pop in there. This one's going to pop into my inventory when I come back. And then, voila. We just saved some sp uh, time and space. My shotgun, or my pistol, I mean, is almost close to breaking. So, I have to be careful of that. It's going to suck if all of a sudden, while I'm using it, it just breaks. We have to sell these before we go, and then we have to make some space as well. I'll keep this like so for now. And then I have to go... Yeah, let's just quickly go sell the meat over here, and then we're going to go to the other treasures. It's a shame I don't have the lucky little goggles now, because I think it might have slightly come in handy right now. Although I want to save as much cash... Okay, I'm going to go for all of these crates on the map, all these uh, dig supplies and stuff. But I'm really hoping... Oh, I don't have fuel. I'm going to have to check the base first for fuel. Uh, what did I come here for? To sell the food. Yeah, I'm hoping that we get some really good loot. I could buy a uh, uh, Lucky Little Goggles, I think, from one, of, from, from one of these dudes. But whether I want to do that right now or not, that's a different question. I think it's going to be a waste if I do that right now. Because it's 2.5k just for that. Yeah, now we have 8,000 in case we come across an NPC that we want to buy. Come out, please. Thank you. I should have told you to wait. I'm glad you didn't bug. Okay, yeah. We just have to first go grab some gas over here because I would have stopped and not have any gas. At least this is not Undead Legacy. You can just go and uh, scrap vehicles and get gas. But then you have even more stuff on you that you don't want on you. So that's going to be a little bit bad as well. All parts are back over here. Okay, so all I need to do now is I'm just going to go... I'm going to cut out all the driving and just go straight for the loot and stuff. And then hopefully on the way there we get more NPCs. Or we see that massive uh, castle. If we see the castle, I'm going for the castle. If we don't see the castle, I'm just going to focus on getting to these quests. Where am I supposed to go? I'm just going to focus on getting to these quests. And then if I see more boxes and stuff, I'll get you guys back. Like these with all the, the resources and stuff around it. Um, in the desert... It has these uh, bob fences above it. But in the forest, we have them with um, just on pillars. So it's way easier to grab. So hopefully I can pull myself up. My drone, I think, is following me right now. I've got a bad feeling about yep. this. Okay. 
So we can fill us up, we can fill the drone up, we can fill the vehicle up. We are just going to go get all of these supplies and hopefully we get a ton of stuff we really need right now. Okay, so our first box has been found. Ooh, nice. I saw something running this way just now, but I had to finish digging first. Here you are. You are one of our first ones that we encountered and you are bugged like hell. We killed a wolf and two boars over here as well while we were um, just quickly digging this out of here. Have up There's more pigs. Technically, I should go for all of them, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight up. Hopefully, we come across more pillars and stuff on the way there. Um, I'm only going to be cutting back and forth uh, for the pillars. So if we see a pillar with loot on it, or if you're still in the desert and we see one of these resources with stuff on it. Because I know we're supposed to go for all of these sharp pointy rocks over here. But I need a better uh, axe before we can go for this. So I'll catch you guys back if we come across these. Can I get it from one side? I think this one is already... No, it's sealed. But I say we've already looted, but it's not. Nice, thank you. Yeah, in the, in the desert, it looks like that. But in the forest, it's actually propped up on a piece of wood or something. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to go for those others, guys. But I need more stamina and I need like a legendary pickaxe to be able to go in fast. I need to work on my stamina as well because the legendary uh, weapons and tools... No, the legendary tools... Well, and also taking melee weapons, uh, use so much stamina that if I was to go and use it, I might just run out of stamina after every few hits. See, those were in the forest, uh, in the desert, and in the forest it looks like this. If we can just come across a ton of these things, grab them, and be on our way, we'll be able to get so many guns, repair them, and perhaps even get loot out of them. These pointy rocks are the same as the ones we had in the desert, so they're full of resources. The nice thing is they do show on the map. So later when I have an axe or two that can actually do damage to these, I'll just come back over here on the map and then just destroy all the, the points of interest where they might be. I want to be careful. I think we have looted this base. Be no, we have not. Military. I don't really need it right now, so I'm just going to skip. There's no point in going for the stuff that's just going to slow us down right now. I have a thing that I need to do and let's go do it. So many times I say I want to do this and this and this in the episode and then I barely get anything done because I get sidetracked. This over here, though, what is this place? This looks new. I don't know this POI. There's another box over there I want to grab. I just want to see what is this place. Free house. We're able to see in here, so I'm just going to destroy this. As long as you destroy the uh, trees, you'll be able to see where, what's inside of you. Okay, you are on fire, which means you're gonna die. There's no way you survive being on fire like that. So there's snakes as well. This few eyes so hidden in the trees, it's so easy to get lost. I was hoping by destroying these trees, we don't destroy the few eye itself. I'm gonna check what it looks like. I think one more tree. Also a snake over here we need to be careful of. But so far this looks really cool. Are all of these snakes? He was shooting all these snakes from the bottom and I didn't even notice it. Look at all the meat. I've got a bad feeling about this. The snake tree house. Are there any snakes in here? Ah, uh, let me just destroy this. If this has some really good loot in it, I'm really gonna be happy that I came here. Oopsie, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. The way they can go through blocks and stuff sometimes make it really hard to kill them. Okay, hidden stash. Boom, boom, boom. Hunting rifle, nice. Don't need any of these. Okay, so this thing's not bad, guys. This is actually a really cool POI. What is this? Stacked rocks? I think that's like one of the toys, like a trophy or something in the game. We've been this side. There was a zombie up here, I think. No, uh, yellow duck. Huh. Okay, so this is a snake-infested treehouse. That's really actually cool. This whole pure eye screams, uh, screams awesomeness. I like random designs. This isn't like the best and best of designs, but this random design is so quirky, I actually like it. Okay, and then we have to go for this box. Yeah. I think if you had some lucky little goggles, um, the loot we find in these might have been even way, way better. 
I wish I could find some big supplies as well. All of these are small supplies. And then this is just a wood shed. Although I have to be careful, guys. Sometimes with these pure eyes. If you walk... Oh, thank you for the apples. If you walk inside of here... Oh, hello. Master, we are not alone. Sometimes if you walk into a small shed like that, there's like um, mines and tunnels and stuff underneath you can fall in with. So if you don't want to just fall in, be very careful when you're walking through a field. Okay, all of this is farming. I'll be able to put all the, uh, the ammo at least on my drone. All the guns and stuff in my vehicle. So why not? If you see quirky places like this, guys, this is awesome. But yeah, be careful, guys. There's a shed. Um, I've, I've mentioned this so many times before. There's a shed that I had in Zombie Days mod. Where it looked like there was a, a working stuff's chest in the middle of nowhere. And as soon as you try and break it, you go inside this one small shed, you try and break it, you fall through the floor, and even though there is water in the, uh, underneath, you still break your legs. That's how high you fall. You have to be really, really careful when you do those quests. There's a shocker messiah factory over here. Uh, I think I see more boxes in the distance. I'm keeping my eyes open because these boxes might have us some uh, really, really great loot for us. He's going to be in the water. Oh, it's going to be in the water. I absolutely despise these quests. Okay. I'm going to have to make a tunnel down there to be able to go and dig. What I might be able to do is dig over here. I'm so slow. Uh, I'm going to make a tunnel over here. I'm going to go inside the tunnel. And then I'm going to just block off the tunnel with some frames. We have 115. Uh, the nice thing is we have a lot of... Uh, bre oh, come on. Swap. There you go. We have a lot of breathing left on us. That's cool. Now there's water you can actually get rid of as well if you wanted to by just placing frames. Every fifth uh, hit or sixth... No, every sixth hit, the circle shrinks. If the circle shrinks too fast, we'll have to go check outside where it's shrinking too. So as long as I don't see the yellow, I'm just going to keep digging. That, no, 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 I knew it. I have to dig down a little bit further. Just be careful of the water now upstairs. I'm going to have to start digging down just to make sure we don't accidentally hit up uh, above again. Don't keep firing at that. Please, 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 please. I'm just hoping this is the only one that's in the water like this. I despise when it's in the water like this. Oh yeah, you can go and do one by one. I forgot that in this mod as well you can do it. That means the treasure's gonna be on this side somewhere. I'm hoping the water doesn't destroy... Oh, there you go. Treasure cache. Um, but yeah, guys, I... Don't, I, I almost forgot that you can climb, climb through a one by one, just like in Darkness Falls. So when you're going for treasures, technically you can cheese it and just look through the world as where the treasure is. It's just so much, especially when it's underwater like this, it's just so much faster, so much easier. You know, drone, why did you come in here with me? Please tell me that. It's so hard to swim out sometimes, come on. Because there's, uh, there's air with us as well, not just water. So that's why it's so hard. Oh, look at how the water bugged over there as it was going inside. I think they fixed water or they were working on water in the latest update, right? Okay, all of these fetches over here are nothing. I need to go for this missing health supplies. On the way there, I'm also just going to go for all the boxes and stuff. I do want to cancel all the tier 1 fetches and stuff in the area that we have here. So the moment I'm very close to them, I'm just going to go on the map and see which ones are super close. And the closest quest to me, I know, is, is not my town's quest, so I can just go and cancel them. Okay, I need to look for more of these boxes. They're not always in the town itself, it's more likely out here, but you can always keep an eye open. If, the, if it's big enough, like this opening over here, there will be boxes even in the town. Like if there's a lot of forest in the town. No, ooh, it's been a while since I've actually seen one of these. Skeleton eggs. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually seen one of these things. I almost forgot that there are special kinds of skeletons and stuff in the game because I haven't seen that one in like forever. Okay, we're gonna have to go around. I hate these low trees. Can't see where you're going with the trees over here. Whoop. 
See, go back, go back, go back. I don't know if zombies just spawn in, I think, because I just got a bad uh, case of stutter. Can I, can I, can I, can I? Nope. Cannot. I just made a zombie mad by driving right over his legs. Okay, now all I need to do is check on the quest over here. Which quests are super close by? This one, cancel. Uh, let's see. Kilometers, kilometers, that's mine. A few meters, not mine. 700 meters, where's this? Show on map. Yeah, uh, we are going to remove this one as well. 700 meters. See, this is all quests in this town. I'm not, I'm not busy with this town anymore. I'm done with this town, so I want... Oh, it seems every biome has its own zombies. That firefighter zombie also I haven't seen in a while. But anyways, yeah, um... There's no point in going for these quests so far away from our base. We do have the gens close by to us that we can go to. And we have our trader with like five traders inside, so there's no point in going this far. Just for quests. You know, I mean, you could get way more quests done, way more XP and stuff. But driving all this way is going to take so much gas and time. It's just going to be... Way, way, way too arduous. Okay, we're close to the missing supplies. Guys, if I see these pillars, I can actually see more from this direction, I think. Anyways, if I see these pillars, I want to go for all of them. Uh, because we, one, we're not really in this biome anymore. And two, they can actually have some really good loot in there if you're lucky. Sometimes you drive past a few, but you don't even realize you're uh, passing them. So we have to really pay attention over here. My senses have picked up something. Okay, now this. Let me just redo really this. Now that I remember this is a one-by-one one block thing. Right here. Super close to us. Guys, I know that's very cheesy, but I mean, that's, if it's in the game, I'm going to use it. If they fix it at this stage, it's going to suck, but I'll still, I'll still dig normally. I want for them to go and uh, add a feature where if you're busy digging underground, you are crawling on your stomach, you can't see far ahead, that kind of thing. That's going to be creepy as hell. Okay, and then we have to go for this. Uh, I wonder if we shouldn't go first. Let's drive like this. We're going to go for this one. Then this, this, and then head back to the base. And then we should have all the treasures and stuff on the, uh, the map as far as I'm aware. But if we go for this right over here, we might actually get, uh, get some more boxes. And I'm looking for new biomes. Yeah, this direction. Yeah, I'm busy looking for new biomes right there. That's why I'm going a little bit out of my way before we go straight towards the treasure. I was driving so fast just now. Is this one, this one just spawned in, so I wonder how many I actually passed. It seems when you're driving really, really fast uh, and you're going in a straight line, you have to really pay attention to the corners of your uh, of the screen. I literally that one just popped in as I got close, so I think I'll really pass so many. Well, the easy thing is just check the map. On the map, it'll show you where all the poles are, but then you're gonna be uh, smacking yourself, or hitting yourself for the fact that you missed such easy loot. I'll rather not look and just see what I can find myself and then hope for the best. There is a ton of fog over here which doesn't make the visibility that much easier as well. I also don't want to go too far out of my way for a pillar, but you might get lucky and find a large cache of uh, weapons. A share of weapons. Sometimes they're just small and minor and just a few resources and stuff, but you can get lucky and get some a lot of loot in there. This map is a small... I almost forgot this is a small map, not a big map. Okay, look for these things on the map. All you have to do is look on the map and it'll actually show you like a big... Maybe there's a pillar over there. There's a pillar over there. I wonder if I got all of these. Uh, you just have to check. I think this one over here is the treasure that's inside the wasteland. The one with the bob fence around and stuff. What I'm going to do is just keep on going along the coastline of here. And then I'm going to go straight into the treasure as soon as I see it. If I see the other bob fence thing, then I'll go for it. But if not, then there's no point. Okay, there is an NPC over here with a super loud gun. So I'm guessing it's the SMG, dude. It's supposed to be over here. I thought the treasure was right here. I thought I missed it just now. Oh, that's a friendly radar, but... Damn, that thing's loud. Okay, so... Oh, yes. HDNL gun. Nice. I think you might actually need this to upgrade the, with tungsten. I was wondering what the hell was making all that noise. Because it's a super, super loud gun. 
Turns out it's this friendly NPC over here. It's just a shame that they're bugged. I would really like to actually go and talk with her. Okay, guys, it seems this is... No, wait, wait. We are as east as can be, right? Yeah. So I think the wasteland's over here somewhere. There's a new city over there. I want to go look for the big castle. You know, there's a lot of legendary loot over there. It's a shame that we didn't get the same map as we did last time. Because there was a big castle in my previous save before we restarted for the latest update. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that it had so many legendary tools and weapons and it was awesome. And then we even got a, a legendary katana and stuff as well. I've got a bad feeling about this. But so far, other than that, we haven't really seen anyone else. So any uh, any other... We've, we've looked through this city over here, this one kind of over here, this one over here. This one over here and this one, and not one of them have the large castle in them. I'm really hoping it's somewhere on this map, but I'm just gonna have to go exploring. I might have to go and just take my vehicle and just drive and drive and drive and drive. And if I come across it, then start the next episode. But that's, uh, that's gonna be a waste of gas, because if you don't come across it, then you wasted all that fuel exploring the map. Okay, I'm hoping you're only shooting spy- Oh, that's a spider. I was like, if you shoot a spider, kill the spider. Don't bring it in here with me. I can't shoot because now she's in the way. I'm gonna have to save her. The spider's busy killing her right now. Lady, now you made me get stuck over here. How the hell am I supposed to save you? You're uh, doing bullshit like this. You are so bloody lucky I could get out just now. She pushed me even further in, so how was I supposed to save her? She almost died because she kept pushing me into a corner. Okay, so now we can go back to the base. Um. Oh wait, there's another one over here. Treasure farm supplies. And then we can go back to the base downstairs. I mean, we, we're up here now, so it's not going to make sense not going for it. I think even if I can see the treasures through the floor, I still have to dig all the way to it to make sure we get a ton of clay. Like just now, I just got a ton of clay. So I decided to go straight forward when I saw it uh, sort of here. Instead of just going out around and then doing it from the outside. Um, I need some space right now. Okay. So we are way too far. Well, I could put a few things in you, perhaps. Okay, and then we can go and just do this one big quest that's very close by. Buried supplies right there, level 1. And then yeah, we can go back to the base. Then we should be done now at least. Why does that not always set? Do I really misclick that much or that often? But yeah, basically, uh, since we're in this area, we can just, well, the fetch and the, those quests are going to take too long. So that's why I'd rather stick to the buried supplies. Since we are over here, we're going to pass it anyways. There's no point in leaving it behind. Okay, so after... Oh, that just shrunk. About to say, there was no zombies that just spawned in, and then, yeah, I... I do that. It's tier 1, so it shouldn't be too tough. Come on, damn it. Okay, now we should go back to the base. That was tier 1, that was a really, really easy one to do. If we could just dump everything at the base now... And in the morning we can talk to the traders. I actually wanted to build as much as possible during this episode, but we can do that next time. We have three in-game days to prepare for the next Horde night. And that sounds like a lot, guys, but we don't really have that much cobble. I think I have like 200 cobble at most, and I need to make the whole Horde base still. At least the pillars and everything are up. I'm just afraid that the zombies during Horde night might go for these pillars. Although these are four pillars, four pillars. This one block over here is four different pillars. So it shouldn't be that they go and destroy everything, but you never know. What are you going off right now? Okay, so I should just put as much stuff as way as possible as well, because I think I'm way too full to even grab some stuff here. Well, then supplies. We have cobble as well. Ooh, we can make more cobble shapes. Okay, so let's see. This should be done. That was the... What was that? The uh, steel club. Oh, wow. I just... I dropped the whole stack. Oh, yeah. That, that was busy crafting. I was about to say, wow, there's a whole stack of uh, cobble in here. So we have 600 pieces of cobble. And the spear... Where'd the spear go? Did I craft the spear or not? Oh, there you go. I was about to say, oh, I, was, I already looked in there. Okay, so this one is the tool one. The 
I'll put that on next to this one. Okay, so now we have a tool workbench. We can make the drone here, I think, right? Or oh, these are the mods you can make over here. Builders, this is where you make the drone. Nope, still not right. Wait, what workbench do I need then? Is it this one? Drone. Yeah, okay, so we can make a drone here. But I'm still not sure what I need to spec into. The weapon. So it might be on the gun workbench. Oh, I haven't made one yet. Okay, so let's see. Workstation. I need to make a weapon, a gun uh, smithing station. And I need to make a... Which one, which one? I need to make fabrication, the gun, the, bull, uh, the blueprint, and the armor. And the ammo store. So we still have to go and craft a lot of them, but at least when they're done, they're done. Okay, now I just have to go and put all of this stuff away because I am... Why did that pop over there? But yeah, I just have to put all of this stuff away because I'm a little bit carrying way too much. Uh, this is red gloves, which means it's better than the gloves I have on at the moment. Character, modify, take that off. Uh, where's that one? Modify. I should actually make sure that I mod all my gear completely to the brim. And then put that on. There you go. So let's just do a little bit of... I'm going to put all this stuff away, guys. Um, next episode, we have to work on the base and making more workbenches and stuff. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.